it's Christine and I have a card today featuring eggs and bacon a new stamp set that we released in May I started with a card base of five and a half by four and a quarter and then I am using the pierced and stitched rectangle die from by dynamics for this card I made my own pattern paper to go for the middle layer and I just took the egg stamp from the set and I used dandelion ink from mementos I wanted to make sure that my stamps lined up perfectly on my white cardstock so I put them on the paper first upside down and then used my acrylic block to place them on the block and then I inked them up and I'm going to use my acrylic stamp positioner so I stamp on the flat part of the positioner and you use that piece on your paper that you're going to stamp to make sure that it's positioned right where you want it. My piece of paper, it being so small, so much smaller than the um, positioner part, I went ahead and just used a piece of tape and I taped it down. And then I took my part where I stamped them and put them on the paper to see exactly where I wanted them. And then I used the L bracket to hold it in place. And what you do is you pull away the flat piece and then you re-ink your stamps and you make sure they butt up right against your L piece. And then you stamp down and it positions them just right. So here they are stamped on my white piece of paper. So I'm going to color them with Copic markers along the bottom of the screen. You can see which colors I used. The E00 and E02 was the inside of the bacon and then E51 and E53 was the outside of the bacon. I sped up this part of the video so it went a little bit faster. There's tons of people out there that have videos on Copic coloring. So I just went ahead and colored and didn't really go into a lot of detail, but you can kind of see how I layer the colors on. I also gave them shadows so that they weren't just floating on the paper. And then to make the yolk part of the egg really look like yolk, I used glossy accents and I went all around the image. And when you first use the glossy accents, they look kind of cream colored they're not um, see-through clear but as you give it time it does become more clear and then I went ahead and I'm going to start assembling the card and I used mono multi liquid glue to glue down all the layers of the cards I had to be really careful when I did the part that had the images on it because the um, Glossy accents was still wet, so I tried the best I could not to put my finger in it, which I kind of succeeded in doing that. And then I picked out the sentiment from the set, and I wanted to use one of my dies to um, cut out a little shape for the sentiment to go into. And so I found one from our Make a Card number two set, and um, I used the heart from the Make a Card number one. And I find that I use this little heart shape a lot on a lot of my different cards. And see, now it makes them see they love each other, their little hearts together. And then I pulled out the acrylic stamp positioner again because I wanted to make sure that I got my sentiment placed exactly on my little tag where I wanted it. Because if I didn't do this, it probably would have been crooked. Um, so I took my time and really got it spaced in there how I wanted it. Again, I had to tape it down or I was afraid it was going to move on me. I was really happy where it ended up getting positioned on the, on the tag. It was just right. So now I, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down with a little bit of mono multi liquid glue right in the um, center of the card. And that's that. And another card done. And I have to say I'm pretty happy with how clean and simple this card is. And I will see you again. Bye.